Hey, JC here. JC's Comics and more your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741531-6097. Instagram, JC's Comics and more. And then www.jccomicsandmore.com. You can see it's kind of a, an icy, snowy kind of day here in Northwest Ohio and Toledo. But the roads aren't that bad. Certainly... Uh, no reason for anyone to not be where they're supposed to be. But, let's see here. We do have, we've got new stuff in this week. And then also, real quick, had a couple guys this past weekend from North Carolina that came down there up in Michigan. A couple of eBay guys, comic dealers, now people that don't own, don't own an actual shop. Wanted to buy my entire blue bin. Wanted to buy my entire back wall of comics. The offer that they were percentage they wanted off was very 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 insulting very insulting to a store now if this was some sort of a flea market or something i could understand but no way was i going to give stuff away so i decided to have an impromptu 50 percent off flash sale on these comics that's running through today so if you're in the northwest ohio area certainly you'll come take advantage of this there's lots of good comics in here. You gotta pull at least eight comics out or spend $125. I figure that's, uh, you know, for what I was going to give this stuff away for, you know, make it worth my while. Make it worth your while too. Come take advantage. Come take advantage of these comics that are in here. Buy these things up. Prove I made the correct decision by not just going for the easy, quick cash that these guys wanted to wanted to give me. I mean, look, you got this Eerie comic right there. It's from the 1950s right there, an old horror Eerie comics. Um, got X-Men's in here. Look, you got Burn X-Men's. So, so come, take, come take advantage. I've had a couple guys really, really take advantage, and I thank them. You guys really, really came through. But we've got some unboxings to do. We got here Ghostbusters 2 assortment. I believe this is real Ghostbusters, so let's get this thing open. Chuck's raring and ready to go. He's always eager to get to work. So we'll crack this open and then we'll crack a couple other things open too to see what's in here. Let's pull these out, these little stressor and stress relievers. And I see little fat boys in here. Fat boy, that old fat boy. Uh, look, it's uh, it's Bosa's mate, the uh, the bass fisherman, bass fisherman Bosa's mate. Right there, he is. He's ready to go. Doop de doop de doop de doop de doo. Look at him. He's all happy and everything. Let's see who else is in this this assortment here. Again, stress relievers, relieve some stress. Oh, look, got Peter Veckman. Look, he's all. He's all looped up on cold medicine right now. He don't care. And who else do we have here? Ah, I see it's some ginger guy. Ray. Oh, Ginger Ray. Looks like you know, he's been hitting the uh, hitting the whiskey a little bit there. But uh, we've got these here. Look at him. He's all happy. And he's all happy, too. And he's happy, too. He wants you to uh, poke him like popping fresh dough. There you go. And of course, you get all 15 figures. You can get the uh, build the firehouse doors. Okay, that's what's in this this box right here. Now we're gonna set this box aside. I've got somebody that's gonna be very happy to get his assortment of real Ghostbusters. And we do have. I'll just let you know real quick here. This, of course, we do have a lot of stuff in the shop. This is. A lot more than most comic shops you will encounter. And we still have a set of the first set of figures as well. Of the Ghostbusters. And of course, look at all these great figures here that we have. And you've got statues down there. We've got figures everywhere. All kinds of neat, cool stuff. And then of course, all kinds of great, great back issues. Now, let's set this camera down real quick here and we'll get this box that box up there this next box 
Let's see what's in this box here. Okay. Let's see the other goodies we have. And look, two more boxes, and they're still sealed. This is like some sort of crazy Chinese puzzle or something. A joke that I used to play on my nephew for, for Christmas. I'd have boxes upon boxes that he would have to open just to have a smaller box on the inside. Sometimes I'd put dirty socks in there, which would really make him mad. But it was entertainment for me. My sister's like, that's cruel. I'm like, no, not for me. That's, a, that's my entertainment. Okay. We've got paper. That's paper. Ah, we got some pop figures. Let's see who these pop figures are of. Let's see if we get some chase pop figures. I haven't any chase pop figures in a while. Okay, some Rick and Morty figures. Okay. Put it back in there. Ah, Unity. Rick had his way with her. Put the paper back in here. See it's over on the other side here. Probably more of the same, I would have to assume. As sometimes they say. How about that? Three pop figures in these boxes here. This box had three figures in it. I wonder how much that cost me. I wonder if all three figures... Wow, looky there. All three figures would have fit into one box. I wonder how much that box cost me. I'm going to have to bring that up with my diamond rep. The poor packing that these, these figures had. And we got... Fruity Land, Beth. She's ready to uh, assert her authority on somebody. Okay, let me set that box aside. Actually, I'm going to put this down. So I can put the other box I need to look at on top of that box. Never cease to amaze, be amazed by uh, by some of the things that Diamond does. Obviously, the person that did that box was not micromanaged. The supervisor did not come back and look and see what kind of a job they did. Did not tell them, hey, you know, can't those all go into one box? Don't you think the customer would like to not pay quite as much for shipping? But there again, that would require... Thinking on one part. A lot of people can't think on their own these days. They need to be held by the hand. Okay. Come on, Chuck. All right. Let's see from here, see if my invoice is in here. Nope, my invoice is not in there yet. But paper. More paper. And again, look, right there. Do you think those three figures could have fit in this section right here? I really think those three figures could have fit in that section right there. So, yeah, yeah. Look, there's Noob Noob or Knob Knob. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with, with Diamond as far as their shoddy, very, very shoddy uh, packing. The Fortnite, Merry Marauder, looks like a gingerbread man gone mad. And finally, we got one of the prints. There's three different print figures, so I'm finally starting to get to uh, see some of the print figures there. Here we got Teacher Rick. I don't know what he's teaching. And we got another Merry Marauder. And what's this? Ah, yes. I know somebody that's going to be very, very happy to get this. There you go, Matthew. We've got your, got your squirrel girl. She's got her tail fully erect, and she's ready for action. Ready for action on this Valentine's Day with, uh, with her squirrel jib-jib. Or is it uh, uh, that squirrel's name? I know we just call him jib-jib. He's ready for action too. 
So we got that here waiting for you there, Matthew. I know you're you're excited. You're you're excited like a schoolgirl seeing that. And who could blame you? Okay, we got some hero clicks. Hmm. Some sort of hero clicks monthly thing here. So let's take a look at this. Let's see what's in here. Hang on. Put this down. Put it down on the Merry Marauder. Okay. All right. Take a look at these things. There you go. You get Iron Fist in his classic green and yellow costume not that embarrassing track suit that they have him in today in the comics today that thing is an embarrassment somebody needs to think better about that and then we got luke cage unfortunately he's not wearing his classic costume which is pretty badass as opposed to his uh street street wear that's a uh, pretty pretty damn lame uh, people might not want to hear that but yeah it's that's pretty damn lame. And then who do we have? We've got Misty Knight. All right. And Misty's got her got her bionic arm, and she's ready to diss out some fisting power to people. She's going to fist you, and you're going to feel it hard. So we'll put these back away. Put these right over here, and then we're going to check the rest of these prints. Uh, pop figures. Got an entire case. So, I'm not sure if there's any if there's any sort of chase figures or not. There might be, there might not be. But let's have a look see. Of course, Prince uh, said a few years ago always sad when you lose one of the one of the great ones. But no, that's a regular prince. And it appears to be regular prints also. And again, I've got those other two that should be coming in the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't think there's any chase figures to this to the prints there. Nope. And nope. We've got one other one to check. So let's check this one here. Maybe, maybe I will luck out. No. Had somebody on one of my videos talking about how they don't see me getting any chase figures and I've got no control over that. I just have to hope that I get chase figures. But that's it for uh, for this box here. So certainly, always, if you like these videos, like uh, Bosa's mate, uh, the Bath Fisherman right there, be sure to click, and I'm not sure why, why this thing... This camera is not in focus right now. There we go. Um, just let you guys know, give you guys a quick heads up. In the next few weeks, um, I'm going to be not doing doing videos for a few weeks here, but I'll let you know exactly when it's going to happen. Uh, as you can tell, with the camera sort of going out of focus, and sometimes it just zooms in. And also, if you noticed, um, we'll just put it right now to where... Let's see. We're, we're kind of, if you see the uh, in, in the the G on Ghostbusters, you see kind of a little fuzz. There's something on my lens there, and there's another piece that's on the lens too that's somehow got underneath the lens of the camera, so that's causing it to have that that fuzz and that sort of uh, mark there. So the camera is going to have to get sent in and get some work done to it. So it might take a couple weeks before I get my camera back. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up right now, so you aren't giving me angry posts. Hey. You know, where's the where's the pictures this week? So I won't ha I won't like it either, but uh, uh, but that's how it's going to be. And if if anybody wants, you know, send me send me a working uh, Nikon camera, and I can keep this thing going. You know, when my camera's gone. But other than that, if you guys like, I said, you like these videos, of course, hit subscribe. And you do subscribe, smash that bell for notifications. I thank you, and the comic videos will be coming up later today. Take care, drive safely in this area, and again, don't let the ice and snow keep you. It's not that bad out there. No reason for anyone to not be where they're supposed to be.